Brian Sanders here with Raptor Dynamic, but today I'm not talking to you about Raptor Dynamic. I am here to introduce you to a brand new manufacturer, an American manufacturer, uh, and uh, her name's Sirius. It's C-E-R-E-S, Sirius Air. And if you nerd out and look up Sirius, it's the goddess of agriculture. And depending on you know you and your role or involvement in um, spray drones or agriculture drones or, or large drones, Cirrus is answering the, the, the questions and the problems and the challenges that it's historically been to own and operate, um, you know, a, a Chinese made drone, right? A lot of us have the experience of those drones weren't made for us. They weren't made for our fields. They weren't, you know, the manuals and the warranty process and waiting days and weeks or whatever to get logs and, and parts and all this tariffs and duties crap. You know, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a pain in the ass. And so Cirrus is, is really the first of her kind with a revolutionary approach coming from uh, people that have lived it firsthand and been it firsthand. I've personally been involved with Cirrus for, um, uh, for a while, but Cirrus goes back uh, almost a year in her, in her making. And Raptor Dynamic has been uh, instrumental and a, a big part of that, but it's not, it's not Raptor. And um, Cirrus will be distributed through several different distributors uh, in the United States and, and, and globally as well. And although her roots are in agriculture, she'll also have product lines for heavy lift and logistics and um, you know utilities and even some security drones, but she'll be rooted in agriculture. And primarily, since we're starting here in the United States, the design, the engineering, the philosophy, the uh, features, the functions, the, uh, the everything is, is really geared towards American farmers, which I'm excited for. And as we expand into other markets, we'll be listening to those too. Um, but I'm really, really, really excited about this approach. Some of the things that I think are really brilliant about uh, how Cirrus is, is um, set up that's different from anything else out there, uh, besides what I've already said, is that um, you know, it, the, the challenge right now has, has really been, how do we bring an American-made drone to market um, without sacrificing something? either sacrificing the price, making it too expensive, sacrificing innovation, right? Like the features and the tech and cutting edge stuff, or how do we not sacrifice price, um, you know, or capacity? I think I said price, but capacity, right? Size. And um, that's really what Cirrus is about. So we've done something uh, that I'm, I'm really excited about with a, a manufacturer that Raptor and its team uh, you know, has been vetting for almost a year now. And um, this is the long game, by the way, uh, but a, a, a manufacturer called Vector, who's a Chinese company, because we thought, well, heck, the Chinese markets have been using spraying drones for decades, like three decades now, and they know it better than anyone. And since manufacturing, you know, has really dwindled in the United States, again, we're bringing it back, but since that's still the case, you know, we really wanted to leverage the cost um, the, the lower cost of engineering and testing and developing aspects of this drone in China uh, where we can do so at a fraction of the cost to keep the cost low for our customers without sacrificing any of that stuff. And we can bring it to market faster uh, than anyone else because leveraging those different supply chains. Now, one of the critical parts, because yes, it's American made, but one of the other things that you'll always be able to count on Cirrus for uh, is its transparency. So we're not gonna do any smoke and mirrors. We're not gonna do any crap that's like, oh, we're putting an American flag on it and calling it American made when it's just Chinese stuff. Not doing any of that stuff. We, we know that's, that's not how customers wanna be, you know, be done business with. Um, so Cirrus uh, is, is gonna be really clean and transparent and obvious and honest about everything. And it's gonna happen in eras because that's how manufacturing works, right? And again, we don't want to wait three years to get this damn thing off the ground and get it in your hands. So uh, the first era, uh, and eras will be different times. Some eras will be six months, some might be shorter, some might be longer. It just depends on supply chain and how quickly we can ramp up different components here in the US. But the first product uh, will have uh, American-made uh, flight controller or autopilot. Uh, it'll have American-made ESCs, and it'll have an American PCB uh, as well, which are the most sensitive, most critical, most data intensive, most data security issues, right? And uh, and we, you know, we've done all of our due diligence, right? We've talked to the to the U.S. government, we've talked to the Department of State, et cetera, and find out and talk to uh, you know patent attorneys and all the things about what does it take to call it American-made and and be honest about it, right? Again, what's that look like? 
Um, and so we promise to be transparent and, and straight up about all that. Uh, but this first era, those are the things that are going to be made in America. And then things like the frame, the metal, the component, these plastic latches, the wiring harnesses will be made in China. And then the next set of second most sensitive items uh, will be next on the list. And we'll let you know when that happens. Um, but this will also really help shield you from um, a lot of the current political climate and, and challenges that are out there right now about importing drones from China, right? So um, anyway, that's, uh, that's Cirrus' story. So we're partnering with Vector uh, AGR uh, to really do a lot of the heavy lifting to get us off the ground right away. But everything, all the data, all the software, the uh, flight control information, the logs, um, uh, the, your records, your spray records, your data, all that stuff will be housed on our, on Cirrus' servers. And uh, no one in China at Vector or anywhere else will have access to any of that stuff. So we're starting right out of the gate, owning all the intellectual property on everything um, and, and protecting your data. So really excited about that part. And I wanna give you a sneak peek. So let's take a look. Now I'm gonna have to pause this video and spin you around one sec. So are you ready? <laughs> now, I should first tell you this is a prototype, okay? There's six of these in the country right now. So super limited quantity. There's gonna be a lot of things that have already changed about this prototype. Um, so the first thing that you'll notice, and this prototype is all 100% all Chinese made. Um, so this has the Chinese uh, flight controller, the Chinese everything. It's running an old software pack from the HD 580. Um, so uh, this will all, that will change. but. Coloring will change as well, um, but up front is your LiDAR uh, in that panel there, along with forward-facing camera, uh, lighting as well, high-intensity LEDs. Uh, there's your uh, dual-stacked rotors. This aircraft will have a 40-gallon capacity. Yes, yes, you heard it, 40 gallons. I'm gonna give you some size context here in a moment. Um, this particular uh, beta model that we've been doing testing on is for the logistics group. Uh, doing deliveries. So that's a slung payload mount at the bottom there. Um, it even has a function once the payload starts swinging, which is common when you're flying a slung payload. Uh, the autopilot automatically levels out and balances and stops the swing. It's really, really, really incredible. Um, uh, but yeah, this is her. Now, this prototype uh, model is her name, and this is actually her actual name, not her prototype name, but her name is Black Betty. And Black Betty's going to come in two different editions. Now, all of this is geared for two gallon per acre work. But Black Betty will come in this version that you see right here. Again, you know, the actual final production model uh, will have a lot of different changes. But I just wanted to give you a peek of it. Uh, but Black Betty will be in this version right here with dual stacked motors running with two gigantic. It's a new battery series as well. Um, that again, it, all of this is, is exclusive uh, to Cirrus. Um, but uh, Black Betty will be, this version is Black Betty stacked. And then Black Betty will also come in a 40 gallon version with only four motors and only one new gigantic battery. Um, and that will be just the regular old Black Betty. Now, the, uh, both of them will have the 40 gallon tank. There will be smaller tank variants in the future as well. But folks that will want Black Betty versus Black Betty stacked will be depending on your location and your application rates. Um, so the non-Black Betty uh, stacked would be better for folks that are doing high application rates, um, you know, doing four, five, seven uh, gallons an acre might not need stacked because uh, they're not doing two gallon per acre work. But I want to give you a good sense of her size. This thing is massive. Uh, it's the biggest drone besides the delivery drones that you see out there. This is the biggest drone I've ever seen. In the background there is an 18 and a half gallon uh, Vector HD 580. So really paints a picture of how ginormous this thing. This is not a one man job. This is a two person mover. I talked earlier about LiDAR up front. We also have rear facing and up facing radar in the back here. Uh, all that stuff stays. So anyway, I'm excited to uh, share this with you. Now, how do you find out more? Well, again, you can find out more through uh, Cirrus Air dot com uh, c-e-r-e-s-a-i-r.com there's a contact form there cirrus is adding more distributors uh, so depending on the time of uh, that you're watching this video raptor dynamic will be one of her distributors so you can also get in touch with raptor dynamic um, but on cirrus's errors website you'll find a list of uh, distributors as long uh, along with folks that are wanting to sign up to sell uh, cirrus air platforms you can find out more on cirrusair.com 
Also, important question, is it approved on the FAA approved list? Yes, it is. You might notice that whenever you take a look. So anyway, hope this is valuable. If you've got questions, throw them in the comments, um, ask away. We're really excited about this. And um, oh, last thing, I keep remembering things. I keep saying last thing, last thing. Uh, this platform, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, this aircraft will be on a pre-order. The official launch will happen mid-November and the pre-orders will start after that official launch. And then um, the uh, actual delivery of units will be in Q1 of 2026. So production's already starting and running, uh, but we expect all that stuff to be finished um, uh, in Q1 of 2026. By the way, final assembly, uh, you know, the actual assembly of everything, all those components is gonna be done as well in the United States. So everything will be shipping and, and sourced uh, from a, uh, you know, fulfillment standpoint here in the US. All right, thanks for watching. Here we go. Off and, off and uh, you know, to the future here. Talk soon, bye.